welcome to Alice and Anna. My name is Anna, and Alice is not here today. She was, she really wanted to be here for this video, but she's sadly back home. Uh, we, uh, but we did plan this whole video a little bit together, and we talked about it a lot. And we decided that we wanted to come out with a list of things that are easy to do when you're um, stuck at home and dealing with this whole outbreak of coronavirus. Uh, first things first, I think I just want to give out a few things and because I feel like there's a lot of false information out there and you know just to set things straight at least of what we think on this channel and whatever. I think well uh, as much, most of you know uh, we're students from London and in the UK the government wasn't really taking it as seriously as they should have been so now I am in social distancing mode and almost almost like like 90% self-isolation at this point um, unless necessary to go out uh, because I think that's a responsible thing to do and and for everybody out there who doesn't understand why it's so necessary there's a really cool uh, link that I left down below if you want to check it out uh, where it explains why social distancing is so necessary and just in case you don't read it and then you just want a quick summary it's not because we're all gonna die <laughs> it's because coronavirus is a very manageable disease um, however you do need the resources to manage it so if you overcrowd those resources aka hospitals then there's not gonna be enough medical attention for those who actually need it therefore the disease is gonna be more deadly and it's gonna be more contagious so on and so forth. Um, so until everything is under control and we actually have a cure, it's very important to self-isolate and social distance yourself. Um, and we have a very fun list that you could do while you're self-isolating because it is very tiring to be stuck at home and we understand that we're going through it. Um, so we thought we would give you some tips. <laughs> so first things first, I think if you don't work from home, I think you should allocate some time for work and by work I mean online courses there's a lot of websites that have online courses a few of them are free a few of them are paid you can do any type of online courses it could be photography it could be filmmaking it could be accounting it could be there's philosophy courses you know I'm gonna leave everything down below linked but there's a bunch of educational platforms there's Skillshare there's course Coursera Coursera, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, I think it's like teachable. I, like if you're interested in math, there's like Academy Can. Um, you know, I'll just leave everything linked with more, even more examples than what I just mentioned. I think it's also really good if you want to, you know, pay for them because at the same time you're not spending in transportation, so you're saving that amount of money. So you can put it into a course and it's going to be very stimulating for you. It's going to take up a lot of time, but I would recommend keeping it to a certain amount of time per day so that you're not like finishing a course within a day. You know, you don't work for 20 hours and that's it. I would say uh, if the course is 20 hours long, which is some of them are like weeks long, um, work three days, uh, three hours in one day and then three hours the next and so on and so forth because that way you are able to build up kind of a routine. The next thing kind of goes along with the online thing. Learning languages, we have always been there. We always have the little bird from Duolingo sending us emails and notifications and we're like, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. And we just ignore them and we never learn a new language. Now is the time. You can also probably take online courses for languages as well. But basically what I was going with that is any type of hobby or skill that you've always wanted to develop and you really didn't have the time to. For example, you love playing guitar and you took a lot of classes and you're okay with it. Practice it, you know, go for it. Develop your hobbies, develop your skills. Um, the next thing is to keep active. I know that is really difficult to keep active in such a small space, but uh, there's a few apps out there. I only know of one because that's the only one that I've used. Uh, there's a Nike training app and they have a lot of exercises that you can do and you don't need a lot of space. Body weight, you can do it with, if you have at home, a few little like, I don't know, resistance bands or dumbbells or whatever you can you can also put that into the app and it will it, like it will show you all the exercises that they have they have yoga they have so many things i love using it and i think it's really important to stay active when we're uh you know closed off because you're not moving as much as you would usually move when you go outside and it keeps you healthy and it keeps your mind alive in a way uh, there's also this YouTuber uh, that I know who is a physiotherapist, I believe, and she has a lot of like uh, body weight exercises that 
and, and she also targets a lot of different things like lower back pain or whatever. She has a lot of things. Um, her name I think is LA Thomas. Uh, I'll leave her Instagram and her YouTube up here. Check them out if you want. Um, so yeah, just try to stay active. It is spring, spring. so the next thing you can do is just go into spring cleaning. <laughs> um, I don't know if anybody's going to be very fond of this. I think it's a good excuse to do spring cleaning and deep cleaning. So not only taking everything that you don't use out and putting them in bags and you know, you might have to wait until you get the chance to donate them. And also deep clean because like how many times are we are like oh I'm gonna I'm gonna clean behind the fridge and you just never have time so you never do it I think now is the chance um, again just as the online course I think you should also limit your spring cleaning so you do everything in a certain amount of time so you again start building a routine for yourself the next thing if you have someone at home it is really easy to just play board games and I think that also passes the time real quick and it's kind of fun and you get that social interaction that everybody needs <laughs> um, so I'm gonna leave a few links to games that you can do with a like two decks of cards, one deck of cards. Um, I'm gonna leave also uh, games for individuals with just a deck of cards and stuff like that because I know that some of you live alone. For cooking, it's gonna be very tiring to think about what to cook every day. So I'm gonna leave two apps that I've used and I love uh, with recipes, so that's Tasty. And there's also Kitchen Stories, which I love and it's very like, it's a lot more posh, but it's really good still. I'm gonna do recommendations on what's on Netflix and that I love and I think it's really worth uh, watching. Um, for example, if you're really into comedy and stand-up comedy, I really recommend the Daniel Sloss specials. I will leave I will leave the list down below. I'll probably add even more than what I say. Uh, John Mulaney's two stand-ups. Um, I think they're really funny. Reality TV shows, I was really into Love is Blind. Um, but if you get a chance to watch Dance Moms, so like for example TV shows that I really like is like The Politician, and Unbelievable, uh, there's a lot of like docu-series that I absolutely adore. Uh, my favorite, favorite, favorite series ever is actually from Netflix and it's called uh, Mindhunter and it is really good. There's Stranger Things, there's just so many things. Um, there's also been a lot of new movies. I'm added like Call Me By Your Name, Lady Bird, A Simple Favor with Blake Lively, Anna Kendrick, all those. So I'm just going to leave a very big list of series and films to watch, you know, that I recommend. We are also going to still be uploading every Monday and Thursday, so keep an eye out for that if you want. Now I just want to end with, I don't know, like four little things that I just want to add. It's so important, and I cannot stress this enough, that you keep a routine. Even if you don't have to wake up at a certain time because you don't work from home or whatever, try to wake up every day at a certain time, except maybe on the weekends. Go talk to your family and friends, even though it's through Skype or whatever. We still need that social interaction, so don't forget about that. Uh, routine is essential it's essential um, another note if you're alone if you live by yourself please make sure that you're checking in on someone every so often so that I don't know like because it, it is possible and I know that I hate to be like the worst case scenario person but if you fall let's just say that you have stairs in your apartment if you fall down the stairs and you pass out or whatever someone needs to know if you live by yourself please make sure that you're checking in on someone uh, like still okay still alive um, also please don't panic shop uh, panic shop is only gonna make the shortages happen so please think about others buy what you need I'm not saying don't buy anything I just mean buy what you need what's necessary um, and think about others this is a time when we have to be as compassionate and as thoughtful for others as you usually are about yourself so yes Please stay safe, wash your hands, think about others, and honestly, try to keep as sane as possible. And I hope you don't get too bored and that this list helped you in some way. I will see you soon. <laughs> Goodbye and good luck.